Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East at, in Gresham, and tonight we're going to be talking with my sister's house. I have with me Becky Coleman, who is the director of my sister's house. You've been on here before. It's I'm good there. to have you back, Becky. <laughs> Thank you. And with us this time, we also have Amber Seip, who is a child care, uh, child care provider and art therapist at my sister's house. Thanks for being here, Amber. And if I remember correctly, there's some sort of relationship. Oh, yes, Amber is my granddaughter. <laughs> that's great, that's great. Bring them in young yes. and get on yes. working. That's, that's right, great. that's, that's right. right. Yes. Well, yes. Becky, um, my sister's house is, is kind of an institution here in Gresham. You have mm -hmm. um, done a lot of wonderful work with women and, and uh, who need help in this community. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about, about what services you provide and, and what your mission statement is. Okay, well, our, our mission is to be the stepping stone for women to create a new life for themselves. No small task. No. <laughs> and so along with that, then we help women who uh, have either suffered abuse or domestic violence, had that in their history, and we give them an opportunity to recover from it, mm -hmm. to uh, reconnect with God, reconnect with themselves, and uh, uh, to um, educate themselves for a career, uh, get uh, some job opportunities, and uh, help with parenting mm -hmm. and uh, Bible and are, studies. And are the kids there also with their parents? Yes, they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how, how much room do you have there? How many um, women can live there? Or how many families can live at? my sister's house. Well, they're living there. Correct? Yes, yes, they're living yeah. there and so do I okay. and so does Amber. Okay. Um, we have, <laughs> we each have our own room um, and so do the families. Um, our license says through the city that we can house up to 15 okay. people and that includes the children. Okay. And we have an average of 12 at any one time. All right. So when people come there, are they referred to you? How, how do people find out about my sister's house? All kinds of ways. Uh, through churches, referrals, and uh, just word of mouth. Okay, good. And how long have you been around? How Nine long? years this summer. Nine years. Isn't oh, that wow, amazing? that's great. Yes. And you started this yourself, right? Yes. Is that, and how, uh -huh. why, did you, why did you start my well, sister's house? Well, God gave me a vision. You know, I was raised with three brothers and I never had a sister. <sighs> and uh, I've experienced a lot of the things that the women have gone through. Mm. You know, I've suffered so domestic there. violence and there wasn't any place for me to go. Uh -huh. And I was raising two small children and uh, so. It so, was it was time, you know. God gave me the vision, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to go with it. Run with it, it do yeah. something with uh -huh. it, and, and make life better for other women. Yes, good for you. Yes. Good for you. Mm -hmm. So, when women come to you, what what are what are their biggest needs? I mean, obviously, if they're coming from a domestic violence situation, the first thing is probably just some space. Yes. You know, safe space. Safe space, and to feel secure, to feel welcomed and loved, right. to feel accepted, and to be given an opportunity to relax. Right. to uh, get into a routine. Instead of walking on eggshells yes, all the time. Yes, yes, because who's going to come over the yeah, yeah. corner or whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, to just get into routine, relax. And women stay there up to a year. So during the first month or so, at least, they need that time to right. just settle in and, uh, um, and get their bearings. <laughs> yeah, and their kids as well, you know, right, become right. comfortable. And then they can get into uh, uh, job search, uh, are they going to further their education? Right. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to get the financing? You know, that type of thing. Right, so. right. <laughs> now, Amber, you've been working with the kids there. Oh. How, how many kids are there right now that you are um, helping to take care of? Currently, there's one little girl that I've been working with, well, for a few months now. Um, but there are also uh, one family with a little girl and a little boy, two and four. Mm. And um, there's also a pair of twins oh. that are going to be a year in a month oh, in Ma May. Young ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they adore me. I, <laughs> I love them. I love them. Yeah. Um, That's great. And, yeah. Yeah. And as soon as the newest comes in, then we're gonna have a baby. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, a newborn. So. A newborn baby. Uh, that's yeah. that's exciting. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of work. So yeah. when do you provide child care? Is it when mom has to go out for appointments or interviews um, or what? I provide it primarily um, for one of the women when she's going to school. Oh, cool. uh, she has been going to school at the, long, at the amount of time that she's been here at the house. The mm -hmm. last two terms I've been babysitting her daughter um, in the morning generally. Mm -hmm. 
uh, sometimes it can get very long. Yes. <laughs> but it, it's like practice for being a mom, and that's oh, a lot of work. It's it the is most thankless, exhausting job, yeah. but it's also the most rewarding. You yes. Know? yes. <laughs> But, yeah. Well, and without that uh, service, mm -hmm. you know, these women wouldn't be able to go to school. Well, no, they couldn't go to school, mm -hmm. or if they want to go to a job interview, right. or they have a doctor appointment, right. or, or they, whatever. They couldn't do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's great that you're mm -hmm. able to provide that. Just yesterday, that, um, that mother um, had a job interview that I had Good to her. watch her longer than usual. Yeah. And in a case like that, <laughs> it's like, yes, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yes. Good yeah. luck. I mean, that's, you know, that's very mm -hmm. difficult, yes. you know. And I, I imagine a lot of the difficulty would be in helping to rebuild self-esteem and confidence. Yes, that's true, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you help people do that? Well, the first thing we do is we have a little board, uh, little sign that's on their door that tells them that they're, uh, they're special and that they're unique and that they have gifts and a plan that God has for their life. And then I, I reaffirm that with uh, other little quips that I, yeah. I stick all over their door. So it's and it's then, in their face all the time, and mm -hmm. eventually you think it'll stick yeah, out, well, hopefully. Yeah, you know, and repetition, right, that's right, how we those learn. affirmations mm -hmm. and, yes. and, mm -hmm. and encouragement, they need it all the time, because you can tell when a woman comes in if she really believes those things about herself. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure a lot of them come in very downtrodden mm -hmm. and, and beat down, and you know, not right. just physically, but uh -huh. emotionally. Emotionally, yeah. they feel yeah. vulnerable, they've been yeah. injured, and... Right. You know, they want is somebody to love them to yeah. wholeness. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Amber, I understand you also do some art therapy. Tell yes. me about that. Um, I have done projects with the kids and with the women. Um, the kids, I, I remember doing a rather big project when we had a bunch of little boys in the house. So <laughs> I had taken them outside and taken this big, big canvas, probably bigger than this table, and we had done a splatter paint all over oh, it. Like little we, boys would love oh, splatter paint. They, they enjoyed it <laughs> en entirely. But, um, <laughs> or with the women, I've done these, this thing called altered books, hmm. which um, is a technique that basically you take an old book, mm -hmm. maybe you've read it, maybe it has meaning to you, but, like, bear with me, you rip out some of the pages, but you, whether you paint it, whether you put poems into it, whether you make it into a complete and total art project, you make it your own. Oh. And, and it, something for them to keep that... Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it can also, it, it's a form of maybe scrapbooking. Uh -huh. You can put pictures into it, stickers, little oh. things that, maybe little drawings that their kids have drawn for them. Oh. Just... It's, it's one way to be unique and to build on yourself and your family. I like that. I like that. So you had a lot of experience doing this, or oh. or now you have probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been through therapy myself for some of the same reasons that these women come into, okay. and just as my grandma have, we both have experience in these times types of things. I think that empathy probably helps a lot. Yes, it does. Yeah, it really does. I enjoy helping the women come into themselves and learn that they are special women and yeah. they deserve to be loved. Good, good for you. Now, how how do you, how are you supported at my sister's house? Donations. So it's it's really supported by the community. <laughs> yes, it's yeah. supported by the community. We have a lot of service clubs that support oh, us. A lot of churches that support us. Good. Our biggest supporter, of course, is Trinity Lutheran, mm -hmm. who's uh, uh, who owns a property that we operate from. Okay. And uh, but there's other churches in the community that support us as well, and then a number of foundations that Good. continue to support us. So you can always use donations. Oh yes. And besides <laughs> just uh, monetary donations, which of course are probably always everyone's preference, <laughs> because then you can spend the money how you need right, it. Right. What other right. things can people supply that might help my sister's house? Uh, things for the women to use and the kids. What what kinds of things? Well, toilet paper is nice. <laughs> I bet you go through a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper, paper towels. You know, anything that runs a home. Right. I right. mean, cleaning supplies, okay. pine saw, yeah. uh, comet, you know, even shampoo. Mm hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Conditioner. Any personal things mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. are, are Toothbrush, needed. toothpaste, yeah. you know, combs, okay. brushes. Good. Yeah. So, you know, people have deodorant. No. Deodorant. <laughs> Please send deodorant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if there's little things that people have that, you know, they, are, they have a little, a little extra money, $5 yeah. at the end of the week, you know. Mm -hmm. 
send it over or, or sure. pick up a few things and yeah. drop them off. Yeah. You um, also have a fundraiser coming up. Yes, we do. We have a plant sale. It's the day before Mother's Day. Ah, and good this timing. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the eighth year that we've held it, and Wonderful. it's at the corner of uh, Eastman and Powell, which is ah. Trinity Lutheran's that's parking lot, bless okay. our hearts, letting us use it. That's a good location, too, because that's an easy one for everybody mm -hmm, to find. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of local nurseries have donated uh, um, plants. Great. We'll have hanging baskets. Mm, and fuchsias so, and things. Uh -huh, mm. Lots of things. Lots of things. So uh, the money from this is going to go to support my sister's house. Yes, 100% of it comes to that's the house. That's great. That's yeah. great. Yeah. So that is May 11th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh -huh. day for Mother's Day. So a perfect time for people yes. that have their mothers. They want to give them a special yes. plant. Yes. And then if it's not a hanging basket, it's a plant, ask them if you they want you to plant it for them. Oh, that's <laughs> an idea. Well, because, because we will have little uh, planters that we yeah. could do that on yeah. site. Oh, okay. And there's also vegetables, you know, for your garden. you know, some moms <laughs> don't have the time or the energy to go out and plant them well, themselves. That's true. You know, it's like, yes. okay, you know, yeah. here you go. Can I, can I plant that for you too? Tell me what you want. It. That's yeah. a good idea. I just, you know, remember yeah. sometimes getting plants and thinking, oh, these are great, but I gotta get out there and plant them. So, yeah, wonderful. Uh -huh. So, um, and That'll be all, all different kinds of plants. And all different kinds of plants. Hanging plants, baskets, Hanging and you can baskets, have them actually. Can, bulbs even. Oh, okay. You know, and some uh, uh, of our donors will bring in plants that they've separated in their yard. Uh -huh. So there'll be like um, dahlias oh, and okay. uh, irises. And can somebody bring, a, of... bring a, their own planter in and, and buy a plant? And, oh, and, sure. Uh, oh, and yeah. bring everything in and uh -huh. just have you help them uh -huh. plant it? Yes, because we'll have uh, some soiled air yeah. and a table. Good, you can do that. good. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Yeah. I hope the weather's good. Is it, you have a I covered hope so area? Too. Is it all <laughs> in the open? <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's both. It's both? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if it's really pouring, you'll be okay. Yeah. But you'll yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what but other, it's lots of fun. What yeah. other kinds of things do you do? Do you, ha you have other little fundraisers from time to time? I know well, we go to uh, Burgerville. Uh -huh. uh, they work with the community and, and to support a lot of organizations. And so we have an evening there, like for a meal. And I believe it's 10 or 20% that goes toward the house. Uh, we've also done the same thing with uh, uh, the Roadhouse. Oh, right down there on, uh -huh. the on uh, Burnside. No, Burnside. Burnside, yeah. And then uh, not too long ago, we had one at Papa's uh, Pizza. Oh, good. And that was really fun. Good. It's a great turnout. So people should just, um, they could check out your Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook. My my sister's house, I was going to say, what is it? But anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's on Facebook. <laughs> yes. And, you know I, <laughs> and I post on there all the time. It's like, you know, I use it as my blog. Yeah, good, yeah. good. And yeah. do yeah. little I have, invites I've, and I've, things I've, like I've that. I follow that. And, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I'm sure uh, yeah. Amber here helps you out. <laughs> yes, Amber oh, helps me. Amber's super techie. I'm not. I always have to call my daughter and say, how do I do this? Yeah, I know. She just posted this. How do I get it off of there? I just messed up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what daughters and grandchildren are yeah. for, right? Yeah, <laughs> Helping us right. navigate yes. the technical world today. Yes. Well, is there anything yeah. else you want to leave us with before we before we hit close um, this segment of Community Hotline? Anything well, we should know about? My yeah, house? just to just to come out and support us. You know, these women need a second opportunity at their lives, and and uh, it's important for them to know that the community uh, supports that they that. care. Yeah, yeah, and that they, they care. care. Good. Yeah. And thank you both of you for giving of yourselves and your lives to help these women. That's a special thing. <laughs> So thanks for being here tonight, and thanks for watching this segment of Community Hotline. My Sister's House is a great organization. They do need your help, so be sure to go out to the plant sale on May 11th, and uh, if you need more information, check out the Facebook page, and you can check it, you know, get all everything you need to know there, yes. right? Yes, yes. And please don't go away. We'll be right back with more of Community Hotline.